My name is Siobhan O'Loughlin, and I have a Zoom crush. When the pandemic shut down New York in March, Brooklyn-based performance artist Siobhan O'Loughlin's upcoming tour was canceled. So she created a series of shows adapted to Zoom. Myself as a scrappy independent maker was about to become like super irrelevant. And so my fear of being irrelevant motivated me to create work online. These early experiments developed into a series called Please Don't Touch the Artist. The main show is an interactive rom-com called My Heart Goes Zoom about a Zoom crush she had at the beginning of quarantine. This is a love story. It's a story for our modern world. It's a story of hope and possibility when those things scarcely exist in the world we live in right now, right? But unlike other artists, Siobhan's stage before the pandemic was a bathtub. I go to someone's house and I just ask them to guess how many people they think they can fit in their bathroom. And then they leave and I'm left with the audience for an hour and I talk to them for an hour while they give me a bath. And he used to sing to us because otherwise we would all um, cry a lot. You can take your time. For artists like Siobhan, widespread cancellations of live shows decimated revenue. Nearly three million jobs were lost across creative industries in four months, according to one study. In the performing arts, we're still in the point where those jobs haven't come back. Again, about 50% of all of the losses were in some ways directly related to the performing arts. And then I'm like... Ticket sales go to her production team, while Patreon donations keep her afloat. Over time, the production became more sophisticated, and Siobhan found ways to incorporate different Zoom features into her shows, especially the chat function. The way that we utilize the chat, they're doing this thing that has, you know, facilitated their own personal relationships that are happening in real time, separate from the performance that, that I'm doing. She has a devoted following of regulars from all over the country and the world who hang out after shows and stay connected through Slack. You're probably our only Welsh representation. That's absolutely so. fine. I'll happily sing a Welsh song now. But performing on Zoom can be strange. One attendee named Jack has attended for months but has never turned on his webcam. I've completely accepted the bizarre reality that I may never know anything about Jack, but I can't imagine 2020 without them. Though it's nothing like the forced intimacy of a bathroom, O'Loughlin said that she's surprised at the strength of the relationships she's formed with people she's never met in person, including Jack. Joe Constance, New York City News Service, New York.